welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the improvisation programme which puts the performers on the spot and knocks spots off all other performers. Featuring tonight, the Buddy Holly look-alike, Greg Proops. Then Chip Eston, who on stage has played Buddy Holly. And then Ryan Stiles, who is everybody's buddy. And last but not least, Tony Slattery, who on this basis is nobody. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. Okay, now, we... Uh, we start, we start with a game for all four contestants. If you'd like to come on out, it's called Scenes from a Hat, and here is the hat. Into the hat has been put a number of suggestions made by the studio, and some little scenes uh, that the uh, contestants might like to play, and I'll buzz just as soon as I've got the idea. A lot of points going on this uh, game, I don't mind lying. And here we go, invitations you'd never accept. Do you want my jacket? <laughs> <laughs> If the planet was made of toothpaste, if the planet were made of toothpaste. <laughs> My dog did that. <laughs> Rejected proverbs. <laughs> Let the old man who never does. Yes. <laughs> Cheese is often found where you least expect it. My groin is sore. <laughs> Always let the wardrobe mistress choose your clothes. <laughs> Practical jokes in a monastery. <laughs> this gun is hot. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 24 hours from Tulsa. <laughs> How long till we hit Tulsa? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about bathos. <laughs> you could have had a guess at it. Uh, <laughs> here, we're halfway there on this one. What hell looks like? I could see where, where that was You headed. won't even let us. Yeah. <laughs> sea shanties that never caught on. <laughs> oh, oh, my panties are The land is better than the water. <laughs> if, if, underta if, if undertakers were like waiters. <laughs> Who ordered Mrs. Johnson? <laughs> And uh, give a score for that now, which is 1-0 to the Arsenal. As we come to a game called Superheroes, this is for all four contestants, but starting with Greg. And we're going to decide what sort of superhero he is. Um, now, what sort of superhero do you think Greg would be? Termite. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Termite Man. Yes, that's a, that's a good one, Termite Man. And he's trapped somewhere. Where have we got him trapped? He's trapped in a bank vault. He's Termite Man. Will he be able to escape with this as his three superheroes? Away you go, Termite Man. <laughs> I've got to get out of this vault. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God, the thing's made of metal. I'm trapped in here. I hope my friends show up soon. <laughs> Someone's coming right now. Sorry I'm late. Half the stairs to your place were gone. <laughs> Thank God you're here, Kid Kangaroo. Well, it's no problem. I just hopped right up the third step, then to the sixth, then to the ninth. Oh, my God. You're trapped inside this bank vault. I wish I could. There's no way out. Sorry I'm late. Oh, thank God you're here, kleptomaniac boy. That's okay. Hey, that's my kid. Oh. <laughs> I stole a blowtorch! Good work! Hey, that's a nice prosthetic leg you have. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I was swapping clothes with Christopher Biggins. <laughs> but I'm here! Just in time, Captain thinks he's invisible. We're trapped in a bank box. Invisible, you know, you just think you are. Damn! We can see everything you're doing. Oh no! That's disappointing. Wait a 
a minute, wait a minute. There's just a wedge under the door. <laughs> it's gone now. We We're can free. all be free. We're wait, free. there's a sale at Macy's. <laughs> hey, I think he took one of my legs. <laughs> Thank God I'm free. Yeah, well, that's, that's it. You go, um, well, that's an extremely, uh, extremely interesting game as uh, Greg storms into third place. As we go on to song styles, Chip Eston is going to make up a song on the spot here with the assistance of Richard Ranch at the piano. And uh, I'd like Chip to make up a song to or about somebody here in the studio audience. Is there a girl that likes to have a song made up about her? A, a girl in the audience? Alison. Alison. You're a very deep voice for a girl, Alison. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alison, have you got a job, Alison? Court service. Magistrate. Magistrate, not like tennis court, but... Uh, <laughs> so, okay, so you're a court clerk, court, court work. Allison, right. Allison, in a courtroom. Yeah, okay. okay. And uh, can you do it like a love song that you might get in a Broadway show? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Away you go. I made an infraction A tiny tort and so I had to spend my day there in court But there's no reason for me to worry Cause Allison's sitting right there by the jury I am so glad <laughs> that's where I went Cause the judge told me that I was innocent I think I'll go out on a date With Alice and my court clerk, she's so grand Excellent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Andrew Lloyd Webber, eat your heart out, or, or, or write it down or something. Now we come to a game called uh, Sound Effects. Uh, this is for Greg and Ryan. They're going to act out a scene, uh, but respond to... And Tony, sorry, I'm leaving you out. And uh, they'll be responding some sound effects, which will be coming in um, in due course. You are on board a submarine. That's the scene, and you've got to react to the sound effects. Where you go. <sighs> <laughs> Sounds like someone's knocking on the hole. <laughs> Certainly does. Either that or there's a wallaby infestation in the hole. <laughs> Let them in. <laughs> it's Pavarotti. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, please come sing oh, a song. Oh, that's better. Thank God. Oh, that's better. Sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that was a blast. I know. Look, we're trying to find our way back to the U.S. of A. Well, why should I know I'm an opera singer? <laughs> oh, and I bought my little friend oh, with me. Oh, he's adorable. Yes, he is. He's half eaten. <laughs> I got him in Texas. Sorry, I just gave birth. <laughs> oh, she's adorable, too. The point is, we've been looking out the periscope here. We red can't alert. see a thing. Red alert. It sounds like a red alert. Red alert. <laughs> oh, no. I must calling. get something to eat. I don't oh. think we need any more. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. You now, don't. what do you do for entertainment? Well, we like the Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, Pavarotti, I'm going to start. Okay. Okay, we now move on. Uh, we now move on to a game called News Report. Uh, Greg is going to play the anchor man of a news program, interviewing Tony, who will be the expert in the studio. And the other two, Chip will be a reporter out in the field, if you like to go to the other side of the studio. And anyone he happens to interview will be played by Ryan. Okay, so it's just a regular news report program, except we'd like to be about uh, Noah, the famous <laughs> biblical character, Noah. And let's set it in a country, just to make it a bit more exciting. Any favourite countries you'd like to be set? Australia. Australia. I think Australia would be quite good fun. We're always desperate to sell a <laughs> programme to Australia. So, uh, we... At least you can do it in English. So, away you go, Greg. When the music starts, news report Noah in Australia. Good evening. I'm curved slightly. 
<laughs> and welcome to stuff that's going on now. <laughs> Noah, the art. There's a flood impending, and it's in Australia. We have a doctor with us from down under. <laughs> Dr. Hank Kalanga Langa Langa Lang. Doctor. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> you know, the most interesting thing about Noah is that a lot of people think his wife was Ruth, but she wasn't. She was Patricia. <laughs> Patricia, that's interesting. You know, oh, I have something in my ear. It's Snack it's Wankley. He's out in the field. Snack. Well, Kerr just thinks he's so great because he sits in the studio. <laughs> um, I'm here right now with somebody who I think is very important today. It's Noah himself. Noah, you've got a plan. Tell us about it. Good day. Oh, I'm going to collect uh, two of everything. Two elephants, uh, two fosters, and two shrimp on the barbie. Uh, it's starting to rain. Back to you. Thank you, Snack. Now, isn't it going to be a problem collecting two of everything on a continent when there's only marsupials? That's, that's true. <laughs> and you know, a lot of people say that Noah being Australian, like all Australians, is vulgar. Uh, that's not so. Thank you, Doctor. Someone's in my ear. It's Snack. He's got another guest out in the field as it happens, chucking it over to you, Snack. That's right, Curved. We're here with our favorite meteor, meteor ma me weatherman. <laughs> Swing nicely. Go ahead. What's <laughs> Today. Well, we've got uh, 40 days of rain, rain, rain. Oh, 40 days of rain, rain, rain. We've got a high pressure zone heading in over the New Zealand coast. And as a matter of fact, uh, straight over my ex wife's house, so the bitch should be getting pretty wet this weekend. He's not vindictive at all. Back to you, Swing. Her. Thank you, Snack. Uh, any final words, Doctor, on the impending flood in Australia? Well, with all those animals, there's only one thing to do with all the excrement. That's make a soap out of it called Home and Away. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Tune in next time on Stuff That's Happening Now when we look at the story of David and Goliath. Should Jewish men date taller Philistines? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I work out the points of that last game. Oh, we'll take a break. See you after that. Bye. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, um, well, it's taken me quite a while. It's quite a while to work out, but in fact, there are no points to that last game. As we move on to a game called Film Dub, but this is for Greg, Ryan, and Tony. If you'd like to get into the position of the monitor, they have to add a new soundtrack to a piece of film from which the original soundtrack has been removed. And the plot of this one I'd like you to do Greg and Tony, you're on a date. If you pick up the appropriate uh, people to play there. And Ryan is a father coming home early or surprising them. One of them's father. Okay, and away you go when the film starts, which is about now. <laughs> You know, darling, oh, I thought there was a candle sticking out of my crutch. It's my tie. <laughs> you don't mind if I put a record on, do you? Not at all. Just do something about your appalling all right, hair. I will. <laughs> my breasts are made of wood. Is that going to be a problem? You, oh, let's dance. <laughs> hey, you someone's jiggling really... my strings. <laughs> you move really well. Where, where did you learn? I'm having a fit. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? What the hell is going on here? Dad, your eyebrows, they've grown. <laughs> Look, we're just having a bit of... Uh, I hope you two don't think you're just going to be taken off and getting married just like... Oh, don't look at me like that. Someone punched hey, me. Hey, he's not a bad-looking man. <laughs> you're not so bad yourself, sir. Well, have I told you I'm on fire? <laughs> yes, I'm on fire. Oh, apparently I'm not. I don't believe you've met Uncle Phil. Hello. Oh. Okay. Uh, very, very funny. Very funny. Another million points each there, only beaten into second place by the original soundtrack. As we go to a game called Party Quirks, this is features all four contestants, but it mainly features uh, Tony Slattery as the host of the party. All the others are guests of the party in front of each guest. There's an envelope inside the guest as a suggestion for a way of behaving to be made by the studio audience, a strange quirk. And Tony has to guess what the others have been given. If he does, then he'll win a lot of points. And if he doesn't, it'll be like most weeks. So uh, if you'd like to come in, <laughs> ready to come in on uh, Greg, Chip and Ryan. You know I'm only speaking the truth, Tony. So is the party ready? I'll bring them in with a doorbell, with a doorbell noise. You're going to get such a smack. <laughs> Anyway, parties, uh, parties here, Mr. Grumpy Salt. <laughs> Come on in. Davidson doorbells. They ring better, they ring louder. <laughs> Th 
thank you for coming. You're very boring, whoever you are. But come on, have some sweets. Sweets. Sweet. They're good to eat, and they taste great, too. Oh. You think you're in an advert, don't you? Oh, yes. Well, yes, yeah, right. That's what I mean. Come on in. Jingles. Right. Do you mind moving that table? No, not at all. Hey, your coat's got a little bit of lint on it. Let me use one of my special attachments. Oh. Oh. Yes, they'll all want to see you, Mr. Vacuum Man. Where's the women? Where's the women? There's no women here. Look, if you see about 40,000 guys who look like me, I'm not here. Where's the women? Where's the women? Are you Janet Street Porter? Close. Oh, well, anyway, make yourself at home. I'll put on some music. Let's hey, dance. A towel. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the women? Where's the women? <laughs> come on, Jenny. Come along. Oh, yes, away. Make a Oh, you're a, you're a bacteria man. <laughs> oh, I don't know! <laughs> well, it's obviously the sperm. So, oh, yeah, yeah, so I like Tony. Tell. Very close. Well oh, done. Good to see you. All right. All right. And the points are just adding up here on this piece of paper as we come to a game called uh, Stand, Sit, Lie Down. This is for Greg, Ryan and Tony. And the simple idea of this game is that at any given point in the game, one person has to be standing up, another sitting down, a third lying down. And if the lying down person stands up, then the standing up person has to, to lie down. I'll change around generally. And the situation is this. Uh, you, may have to, you may have to readjust yourself uh, rapidly. Uh, Tony, you're coming... Tony, you're coming to a department store to buy a bed. That's oh, your idea. Yes, Greg, right. you are the salesman. And uh, Ryan, you're the manager of the store. Mm. OK, hey, where you go. Hello. Are you lying on the comfy, sleep easy Mark II spring bed? Sell them. Sell them. No. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I'm sorry, boss. Yes, it's just a joke. Of course I am. Well, it's the type of bed I've always wanted to try. Well, <laughs> would, you, would you like to try it out? <laughs> <laughs> He's been working. He's been working hard, I would yes, imagine. Yes, he has. That's right, my boss. Okay. Okay. Well, try it out. See how you like it. How do you like it? It Does certainly it feel feels quite. Oh, there's a spring. Is oh. there a spring? Well, well yes. We can check that out. We can give it to you very cheap. Can and you what feel sort that of cheapness spring? are you talking? Well, we could talk terms. I don't know. How does fifty bucks sound? Yeah. Oh, exactly. oh my God. Wait, are you all right? Get up. Get up. Are you okay? Fifty bucks. Fifty dollars. Take it or leave it. I can't afford fifty bucks. Of course you can. All right, then we'll give it away. Yes, we'll give it away. Yes, we'll give it away is what I say. I'm not after your charity. Well, what is it you want? What? Yes, what is it exactly you want? What I want. God, you're beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. About that. Forget about the bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, no, okay, okay, well done. Let's, uh. Yeah. I must say, it's always my favourite game, though it's not much fun on your own. Uh, now we go to a game called Bar Scene. This is going to feature Chip Eston, who's going to be a barman, and the others are going to come in and be customers of the bar who sing their problems uh, to him, starting with Greg, and uh, he'll sing some advice or comments back, as we've done with the assistance of uh, Richard Ranch at the piano. So, Chip's in position. Now, Greg, um, he's drinking to forget. Uh, so, what is he trying to forget? Anyone got a suggestion? Amnesia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's always somebody who suggests that, uh, as I remember it. Anyone else? Tax demand. Sorry? Tax demand. Tax demand's a good one. He's trying... Drinking to forget his tax demand. Okay. My tax demand? Tax. You know, something tax we have over here, too. <laughs> I know, in America, tax is just something to keep the carpet down, but uh, this is trying to... You're just trying to forget your tax. Away you go. Hi, Chip. Hey, what's the matter? Huh? Well, I, I, my mind is all full of things. Tell me one. I made a lot of cash this year, you could say that I am rich. But now they want all my money, cause the government is a bitch. I wish I paid as I went along, I guess that I'm just a nut. But now they want it all, I guess they're gonna bite me in the butt. Oh, that's kinda sad. Yeah. They should carry you out on a gurney. Yeah. When you get so reamed by that old tax attorney But what you can do, if I can be so bold to guess Is drive a car bomb into the IRS wow. Yes, yeah. yeah, okay, very, uh, 
unusual, unusual use of the word gurney there as Thank we move you. on to uh, Ryan. And he's in love with something. Can we suggest something he's in love with? Himself. <laughs> Everybody always suggests that as well. I don't know what you've got about these performers. Dog. Fish. Dog. Was that dog or car? Dog. Uh, dog, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer's not bad. I think dog is quite a good one. You're in love with your dog. That uh, has comic potential. So away you go, Ryan. <laughs> Hey, Chip. Hi. You know, lately, life really stinks. Open up that bottle and keep pouring the drinks. My wife died about an hour ago. Didn't want her to, but that's the way it is, you know. But I figured, hey, why sit around and grieve her? I've got a dog at home, I'm in love with my retriever. <laughs> That's kind of funny. On Valentine's, you send a card to your canine. And then when you're in your house, you're not there all alone. Cause your girlfriend can fetch a bone. Cheers. Yes, very good. Okay, well then. Uh, Well, while we, while we work out the full implications of the lyrics there, let's move on to Tony, who's uh, he's angry about something. What do you think he's angry about? He's, ang <laughs> <laughs> he's angry about his jacket and his clothing, generally, let's say. Uh, so, where you go, Tony? <laughs> I could have taken Korea. Somebody was just suggesting Korea there, which is very cool. So, t <laughs> where you go, Tony? Angry about your jacket. Look at my face! Is this an angry face? That's an angry face! Don't tell you why! Tell me! I went to a store, I spent a lot of bucks. Bucks. I came out with this, and boy does it suck. Suck. But the most important thing, and this is what I'd like to share. I hate this jacket cause it's made of bits of Lionel Blair. I'll tell you what. what? Man, you got reamed when you went into that store. <laughs> they said it was velvet, but it's only cheap for. That, that salesman's good. That boy, he is no slouch. He ripped that sucker right off his old couch. <laughs> well done. Yes. Um, well done. Well done. Um, yes. Um, well, with that, uh, well, that's, uh, that sadly is the very last game we're playing tonight and totalling up the score, I see the joint winners this week are Greg Proops and Ryan Stiles. So, well done, Greg and Ryan. And I'd like them to... I'd like them to read the credits in the style of two hecklers. It uh, just remains for me to thank uh, Greg Proops, Chip Eston, Ryan Stiles, Tony Sattery, Richard Vranch, and me, Clive Addison, saying goodnight. Good night. Come on, get a new title oh, for the show! Come on! Clive come Anderson, on. nice haircut, lose a bet. Come on! <laughs> Mike Douglas, hey, you ever wear the bottoms, Mike? <laughs> a nice shirt! <laughs> Woo! Louise Grime, and where else? <laughs> oh, Eva Marie, hey! You happy to meet you when I don't have a gun, huh? Uh, I'll yeah, be yeah. back. McCola Pollock, buy some vowels. Mike, Mike, what kind of name is that? Yeah. Mike, Mike. <laughs> John D. Northover. Yeah, and what's he under? Dan Patterson. Oh, oh, we've heard this before. Oh, you suck.